So the cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still the mood in the group was just super whoopie doop, yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot. No problem for such a walk is all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And to emphasize this, I flapped the cabin of the Coast Guys with Helium Gas. <laughs> Dobry, witam was bardzo serdecznie, ja jestem Sham62 To jest kolejny odcinek z Goodbye Deponia I porozmawiamy sobie z recepcjonistą Ah, the guest from number 5! Are you going to check out already? What? Uh, no hmm. Looks like I lost that bet, what can I do for you? Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Mm, let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Many Tekel. That's a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Many Tekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? Strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon cruiser route. Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh, people without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. Huh, <laughs> them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. Now, I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello. I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. Okay. Let's see if there's anything left in here. <coughs> there actually was something left in there. <coughs> Dust. <coughs> I usually take my coffee black, but I don't... Ah! Just like spada. Still... I don't need any coffee for the current phase of my plan. And conveniently, that's what we have here. No coffee. Time for the next phase. Okay, phase will start. Okay. Co jest zebrałem? To coś nie było oznaczone. I've seen worse crappers than that. Occupied. Uh, Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. 
having temporal diarrhea? Yes! I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. Uh, there is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the oh, world. Uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. <sighs> There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... <sighs> it wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... <sighs> one roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the toxic and civil war. Oh. Okay. Watch your stuff. Hey, what's going on here? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 Shh. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, <laughs> if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure, no problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just uh Boom, hum, kumba, no. Darn. Wow, freshly washed. <laughs> I don't see a difference. Um, excuse me, is this going to take long? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Darn. Okay. Hmm. Hear something, and the destroyer will pass through this door, and he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's and a dull knocking will precede his arrival, and he will say, "Ow! Oh, oh, that's gonna, that's leave, gonna a leave a bump. bump." Hey, don't mock me. You wait a second. I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Porta Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't he? Uh, that's just hair splitting. I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Anne Scar Meatcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon, like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. Ah, yes, that. I was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party. And the destroyer will come through this door? Beepo, the destroyer, king of comedians, 
do 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 da, and he will bear the sign of the beast. He bears the sign of the beast. He does an elephant impression. Be do do be do, bo bo be hey, be bo bo hey. Congratulations, Emil Louis. Emil Louis. Yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot coast. What's with the strange outfit? Are you in some weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meniteco now. Huh. You don't happen to know those guys from the laundry room. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they're carrying candles, singing in minor keys, and they're wearing the same outfit as you. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just a harmless glee club. They painted a pentagram on the floor. Ah, circle of fifths. No doubt about it. Ah! Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller, but I don't like to use my abilities. Oh yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly. You have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me, to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? The world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow, shortly before the late news. Ha! Not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our eyes will have long since burned away when it happens. Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes, an occupational hazard. I'm gonna put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> so just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah? What are they waiting for, then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. What makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? Then it rained fire from the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquettes. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. Finally, the water of the ocean turned to blood. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. So what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock hop. <laughs> it is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world. Strictly speaking, I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this week. I have seen it otherwise. Oh, come on. Give me your robe. No, these robes are intended only for people who are willing to wash themselves clean. Oh, spare me. I'm out of here. I have seen it 
otherwise. What are you doing here anyway? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. I see. Well, this could take a while. Tja, you're beyond help. As are we all. Ooh, I see an invitation for a fabulous prank. <laughs> I'm already laughing myself silly. <laughs> Mr. Toffee. Weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Hey, leave Mr. Toffee alone. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Okay. Huh. Locked. Doc? No answer. Uh, that doesn't fit here. Huh. Locked. Goal? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. <laughs> it fits. Ah, there you are. And, wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And, uh, what does one do with a, uh, neuro thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know. Remerging the aspects of her character. Yes? Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right. Together with the ascension codes. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? Uh... For the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of Go, Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? Oh, what do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? N not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here, and... Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, this calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> Mammoth fur relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Ha, huh, for beginners like you, maybe, but for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. Hey, Doc! <sighs> for the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, 
Um, uh, what am I supposed to get again? Um, a mammoth fur. Whoop de do. Plasma. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. Of course, I'm supposed to get a plasma exchange whoop de do mammoth fur relay. I would never forget such an important assignment. How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop de do mammoth fur relay, right? Um, exactly. Hey, what would you ever do without me? I have to go. You've kept me from my vital professional mission for too long. The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. Hey, Bozo, you old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah. How can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Goal into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? <sighs> Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Aw, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, it's not the end of the world. <sighs> the world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Tony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. Heh, <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression too. Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? You must be freezing. Not really. There's a draft from the holes in the window, but the putrid air from the heater balances it out. What if the heater goes out? Why don't you just tell me what you're planning? Then you won't have to constantly come up with some crazy scheme. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, where's the kick? Where's the challenge? I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 uh. I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. I'm telling you. Rubbish. I would have a blue gun. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. No, no, don't! <laughs> Especially when you do that thing with your legs. After all, there's a lady present. Goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus? I think you're standing on her breathing tube. <gasps> huh? Uh, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which, how come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, don't! You just don't know what you want. <laughs> New eyes! Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. Except that thing with your legs! Ugh, anything but that! <laughs> Come on, please get dressed. Relieve me of the sight. I already told you. My clothes are in the laundry. And anyway, why should... Ah... Uh, uh, don't take it. It's just... Uh, my... 
Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now please get dressed. Why should I? You must be freezing. <laughs> Not really. There's a draft from the holes in the window. What if they... What? Then you will... Yeah, but where's the fun... Here, I got your clothes. Now why should... You must be... <laughs> Not really. There's a... What if... What? Then you won't... Yeah, but where... Hey, Bozo. Didn't you just say you were hungry? What? You heard that? Oh, yeah. They call it selective perception. Sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff. Chaff in the left half of your brain, wheat in the right. <laughs> yeah, ain't I something? If you want to get me something to eat, there's a pie vending machine in the basement. Eh, uh, we'll see. First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. A uh, bait fish or something. Are you still hungry? And how? If you want to get me, there's a pot. Uh, are you still hungry? If there's a pot. Uh, uh. Okay. May I borrow your bag? Sure, go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off. All right, all right. A one-third screwdriver. How handy. I never fasten screws by more than one-third, because at some point they fall out by themselves. With this, you can get a connection to the reception desk and small blisters in the corner of your mouth. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait! I'm calling from my room. Well, well that's different then. What's your room number? Room 5. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? I'd like to eat something. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But well, what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Uh, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come. Provided the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? Tell me. You wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Mm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Mammoth fur? Really? And whoop de doo All right. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop! Too late. Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet! Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find relief. I'm not a ghost. 
and it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. I'm Rufus. And does that give you permission to just barge into other people's rooms? That hasn't been legally settled, mostly because the court building burned down. That's their own fault for putting so much powder in their wigs. I don't care who you are. I, I don't want to be disturbed by anyone. Unless, of course, you're from room service. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes but... Oh. Just a sec, there's something here after all. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And, aha! Uh -huh, this isn't a shard, it's a knife. Ouch! Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet! Huh, sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh, uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For... A midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. All right. What's your guilty secret, then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter? Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room? Next to? A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sing in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser, twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine, I forgive myself. There. And now? What? And now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or something? Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course. Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh, man, what a crybaby. <sighs> yeah, what was your guilty secret again? I like to listen to people. <laughs> <laughs> ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! 
Good grief, you must know shame. Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. And I'm sticking with it. No haunting without a guilty secret. Yes, and? Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not I am, well, how I thought. Oh. Mm. I glad. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet. Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. Well, I was just leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone! Ooh! Ooh. Oh, that's better. There must be a logical explanation for this. Like, for instance, I have achieved the next evolutionary level and developed spiritual superpowers. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to... Yes. Hey. Hey, stay. Well, I thought... Yes. Hey. Okay. No, dobra. Dalej pójdziemy w następnym odcinku. Dziękuję wam za oglądanie. Ja jestem Shadow 62. To była Goodbye Deponia. Zapraszam do następnego odcinka. Trzymajcie się. Cześć. Thank you.